Now select the curves. It's a curve. And what I'm going to do now is I'm, I want to remap these curves from the 2D space in 3D space. This is the button. Remap objects from mesh to another. B remap objects from the command line. The source mesh, it's this base mesh. The target mesh is this 3D mesh. There I have it. Now the, the render view I can see is a little bit better. See that I have uh, already basically pre-visualized. This has some nice transparency to it, so I can see it through also. Um, I've flown the um, remapped lines from the 2D to the 3D. And I can remap a number of other objects. I can remap sub Ds, I can remap um, meshes, I can remap surfaces. Surfaces are not really uh, the best for remapping, but uh, meshes and sub D work, work and curves works very well. And I can see that I also had some curves here that goes out of my mesh doesn't matter they get remapped nevertheless and they get remapped more or less you can see it did there's there's some jitter here so let's go back here there's some some jitter in this remapping because outside of the mesh space doesn't really know what what to do but it went well nevertheless um Interesting thing to notice in this, in the remapping, is again the UVs. The UVs need to be the same. Uh, usually, when you flatten something, automatically you will get the right UVs. So if you flatten the last, and then you will um, manipulate the 2D mesh, the UVs will stay the same. So it shouldn't be a problem. But if you want to have different objects or uh, remap from 3D to 3D. It is important that you check, always check, that your UVs are matching. 